I'm not seeing anybody typing. Okay, let me send screen. But I don't know if you can be able to see it clearly. If you are not able to see it, then you can open the book. Can you see it? Yes. Yeah. What about there? I've, I've, I've decreased it. So if you can see it clearly and you can read, then I'll continue. But if you cannot read, I'll have to increase the font again. Hello. Hello. Can you read? Now I want you to read what is on my screen. The first few words. It's an written locally sourced food. Yes, that means you can see it clearly, and that's good. So we can continue. So you don't have to look at your your textbook. You will use this one. So uh, uh, let's continue. Just to, to summarize what we did last week, we looked at uh, the principal influences on the content and also the principal influences on the style uh, of menus. So we started uh, with the uh, we started with uh, what we call, just a recap of what we did, the principal influences on the, on the extent and style, which we said such things like location, availability of the kitchen and the space and equipment, the knowledge of your staff, the level of service, those affect the extent and style. And then we proceeded to look at the principal influences on the content. Now here is what is contained in that uh, uh, in that menu, and the things that affect it include uh, health and eating, the relationship between those two, uh, dietary requirements. It can be medical, and sometimes it's a lifestyle choice. Sometimes your religion and your culture will influence what is in your plate. Vegetarianism is also an influence, ethical influences, and also seasonality and locally sourced foods. Besides looking at the menu development, we looked at the styles of menu. There were two, uh, a la carte and which other one? Yes, those we looked at. But beyond the a la carte and table dot menu, we also have others, which are breakfast and afternoon, floor room service and event menus, which we shall look into. Now, later on, this is what I want you to do. I want you to, to come up with the two menus, one for table dot and send me to, I'll create a quiz where you'll attach a file and also uh, the other one for a la carte, those two menus. There's no problem if you look into this, if you use this book for your reference, but I'll remind you uh, uh, later on. So that is what we shall do. But for now, let's continue from where we left. So, so main cooking methods, we're not going into this, but you can remember from your production, baking, boiling, braising, grilling, microwaving, this we're not going to look into here. So, 
the menu we must know uh, the objective of this unit uh, not unit but uh, this uh, chapter is to know the menu to have the knowledge and uh, with that knowledge comes uh, the information about the accompaniments that you need and not forgetting the cover so by the end of this topic uh, this is what we are supposed to have attained now sources are part of cooking they are part of the food without these sources we don't have a uh, majority of the foods that we have around so although this there appears to be a wide variety of sources there are almost always variations on the same base sources now table 4.4 describes some of the base sources and i think you come up around the majority of these sources so if you know your way through the kitchen then you must have come around most of this if you've not then it's still early and you will by the end of this course are you still there yes okay now a font brand is a basic brown meat sauce now i want you to tell me look at these sauces and tell me anyone that you have had or you have dealt with or you have made look at it and tell me which one you have you either you have had it you've made it those two which one tomato sauce uh, yeah, that I knew. I was going to say that even if you've not had all of this, but you have done it. You made uh, those tomatoes, that puree with the, some fresh or sometimes tinned uh, tomatoes. I think vinaigrette also. Because at one time you were making some salad and you had to top it up with a dressing. so. You had vinegar and some seasonings like salt and pepper and mixed it with soil. If you did that, you made vinaigrette. Mayonnaise sauce, I think you've also done it. Egg yolks, vinegar, salt, pepper, and mustard. And bechamel, we cannot be through with uh, sauces without mentioning this bechamel. Bechamel is a white sauce made with milk, with savory. Now, velu is also another one. It's a white sauce using uh, fish, meat, poultry, and vegetable stock. Fond bran is a basic brown meat sauce. Any meat, any meat sauce that, that's, uh, I mean, the basic meat, uh, you, uh, the, mes the basic uh, meat you want to make, and you want uh, a sauce, it's fond brand that comes to your mind the first time. Hollandaise. Hollandaise is a hot sauce made from melted butter, egg yolks, shallots, vinegar, and seasoning. So this is the basis of your cooking. One way or the other, you will have one of these sauces to start with. Now, these sources provide the base for other sources sometimes by adding a variety of different ingredients for example you add cheese to bake a meal you create what we call a money sauce then you can add whipped cream to hollandaise sauce and what you have is a moseline sometimes tarragon and other herbs added to hollandaise you will have a bna and then tartar sauce I, which I'm sure you've heard, is co contains gherkins, capers, and uh, and and fine herbs, which is added to mayonnaise, and you have your tartar sauce. So, very basic sauces, which can also be sometimes added to make um some other more complicated 
uh, sources a bit, but not more complicated, just a bit uh, complicated uh, sources. Now, we need to know these food items because they'll form the backbone, the skeleton of whatever is in the restaurant. You must know your way. Now, in the restaurant, you need to know uh, a basic uh, food item which must have its accompaniment and a cover, very, very important. Accompaniment and a cover for almost any uh, uh, food item, very important because you'll be able to advise uh, guests on what to and what not to. Now, these are some of those food items. Don't forget them anywhere. For example, you walk into a restaurant, you need a roast pork. The roast pork just doesn't come like that. It has to have a sauce. And the best one in this case is an apple sauce. Now, how is it made? We are not going to dwell more on the making, but we are just going to, to dwell more on these items and their uses. So, just as a, a, at the back of our mind, an apple sauce is made using a puree of cooking apples. Now, when I say puree, I hope you understand me. What's a puree? You can use a technical term or you can use your own or your your words to explain it. What what's a puree? Alex? Yes. Are you there? Yes. What's a puree in your own words? A puree? Yes. Let's say like a tomato puree is a, a blended tomato. So you can beat it into that fine pulp, blend it whatever way, but it, it, it must uh, uh, look like at the end something like a paste. Uh, that's good. A puree that way. So you have your apples. Uh, make it that way, you have an, a puree. Very good for roast pork, roast duck, and roast food. So, the next time somebody walks into your restaurant and asks for a roast duck, it is only, it is only, it only makes sense that you bring along what? An apple sauce. Are we together? Yes. So you are making yes. a you are, you are making a roast pork. Your work is not complete if you don't make an apple, an apple sauce. So you should be fired because you don't know what you're doing. Now, we also have an aioli. You can also call it aioli. Now, this is a, it's used for a cold fish dishes and a salad dip, for example, products. Balsamic vinegar is a dressing. And what is a dressing? If you have uh, anything like, uh, uh, like a salad, there is uh, a liquid that you put on top to preserve it and give it more flavor. That's a dressing. Balsamic vinegar is used that way. Cayenne pepper or cayenne, which is a hot red pepper, is good for oysters and smoked salmon. Chili sauce is for Chinese style foods. Next time you provide Chinese style foods, bring along chili sauce. You have oysters, the best accompaniment is what? Chili sauce. So chili sauce accompanies oysters. You've made one way or the other, you've worked with chutneys. A chutney is used for Indian chutneys, or uh, I mean, uh, specifically, uh, Indian chutneys are used for tandoori and other Indian dishes. Other chutneys for cold meats with cheeses and plowman's lunch. Cider vinegar can be used in salad dressings, viewed by some as a product for the health conscious. Now, just to gossip, I hear these days they drink cider vinegar. 
so that uh, somebody tries to not to 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 add weight by drinking this cider vinegar. That's what I had. So cocktail gherkins are appetizers for garnish charcuterie. Cocktail onions, we have cocktail sauces, corn oil, the one you use for cooking, can also be used for dressing. Cranberry sauce is an accompaniment for roast turkey. Croutons, I know you've done them, are garnishes for soups and also are used in some salad dishes. For example, Caesar salad. You have a Caesar salad, provide croutons. Pickled cucumbers are for meats, salad dishes, charcuterie, and cheese. Sometimes we have Cumberland sauce. Our Cumberland sauce is a sweet and sour sauce, including orange and lemon juice and zest, red currant jelly, and pot. This can be made in the kitchen yourself, or you can buy it straight from the supermarket, already bottled and ready for use. Now, Cumberland sauce is uh, used as an appetizer for game dishes and charcuterie. French dressing is a dressing made from oil and usually wine, vinegar, or lemon juice. It is for salads. Gherkins are for charcuterie. Ginger are for Accompaniments for melon. You've dealt with groundnut oil, which is a dressing. Horseradish sauce is an, is an accompaniment for roast beef and chicken Maryland, and also for cold smoked fish dishes when creamed down. HP sauce. HP sauce, they say, stands for House of Parliament. It's a sauce, a proprietary, meaning it is made in the industry. It has a picture of the House of Parliament of Great Britain. So this is a proprietary sauce. It's brown and spicy and is vinegar based. It is good for cold meats and other dishes. It accompanies best cold meats and other dishes. Indian pickles is a complement for Indian and other savory dishes. Tomato ketchup is good for grills, fish, and burgers. Lemon. Lemon is a citrus fruit that we usually uh, slice, segment, or cut in halves. When it is done that way, it is an accompaniment for, uh, besides being just a, an accompaniment, it has a wide range of uses, infinite. Especially, it is an accompaniment for smoked fishes, fried fish, and a range of drinks, including tea. So, we shall later see on a later chapter, tea is served with the uh, with the, with, the, with with this lemon, majority of those teas you can either choose to serve it with this lemon or those two. Lime is a cousin of the lemon fruit. It is it its uses are similar to the lemon. Malt vinegar is a dressing, and traditionally in the United States for for chips. Mayonnaise is a dressing for poached fish and a sauce for salads. Mint sauce is, a, is, a, is an accompaniment for roast lamb. English mustard is good for roast beef, boiled beef, grills, gold meats, pets, and is an ingredient when we are making dressings like vinaigrette. Oil general uh, usually those ones that are low in unsaturated fats are good for dressings and, and are and they are becoming increasingly used for cooking olive oil is a dressing 
olives are used as appetizers, but also garnish for food and drinks. They can be chopped uh, or uh, they can be chopped as flavoring. Parmesan, Parmesan cheese is an Italian hard cheese. We usually grate or we shred it. It is used in soups like minestrone and for pasta dishes. For example, spaghetti, you provide spaghetti, bring along the Parmesan cheese. You have penne or macaroni, bring Parmesan cheese, it works well. You make minestrone soup, you have to bring the Parmesan cheese. Parsley, usually chopped or sprig, is a garnish and white uh, and has a wide variety of tea, in on a wide variety of dishes, sometimes deep and fried fish. Pepper is a traditional form of pepper which we put in the table uh, in a table shaker. Peppercorns are used in food dishes. We have piccalilli, which are accompaniment. It's a mixed uh, pickle in thickened spiced sauce, predominantly turmeric and sugar. It is an accompaniment for cold meats, plowman's lunch, buffet snacks, all those. Piri piri is a hot chili sauce of Portuguese African origin. Now, it is an accompaniment for prawns, crayfish, and chicken. We have royal. Royal is a proven, proven kale sauce made from pounded chilies, garlic, and breadcrumbs, blended with olive oil and fish stock. It is an accompaniment to boiled fish and fish soups such as bula bay. If you serve it with chicken, bula bay, then chicken stock will have to be used. Salt, you've come across this. We sometimes we have refined and sea salt. There's a difference between refined salt and sea salt. So salt is found in that table. It's it is ground and then provided a table salt. It's traditionally used as salt in table, cellar, or shakers. Sea salt. Derived from evaporated sea water, we, this one is a good, is a better than the other one, which has chemicals and refined. This is straight from the sea. Now, this one is used, the sea salt is used in seasoning, especially with boiled beef and uh, used in table grinders. Soy sauce is an accompaniment for Chinese and sometimes other dishes. Sunflower oil is a dressing. The basque sauce is used as an accompaniment when it comes to oysters, clams, and other seafoods in other dishes. Tartar sauce, I think you know this one, is an accompaniment for all deep fried fish. You have a deep fried fish, provide tartar sauce. Vinaigrette is a dressing. And how do we make it? You just combine oil and vinegar or lemon juice with seasoning. Seasoning includes salt and pepper. Sometimes you can add mustard and herbs to your vinegar. Wasabi. Wasabi is used in paste form as a condiment with sushi, sashimi, and other oriental dishes. Oriental, anything from Japan, Iran, those East. Yeah, I mean, those countries found to the east of the world. Wasabi is a finely grated root of the wasabiya japonica plant. Extremely, uh, it has a extremely strong flavor, sometimes called Japanese horseradish. And then we have this one. We call it a Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. is used as an accompaniment for tomato juice, Irish stew, scotch broth, uh, seafood cocktails, and in dressings. It is also used in, uh, is also used in flavoring of, in a variety of other dishes.
So these are the sources and the other food items that we need that form a basic of all those dishes in the restaurant. You have a question on it? On these food dishes? Any question? Hello? Then I'll ask you, if you want to ask me, I'll ask you. So, now tell me, I walk into a restaurant, I want, uh, I want boiled, boiled fish. What is the accompaniment? Boiled fish was the accompaniment. No idea. Graphene. Yeah. What's the accompaniment? Okay, what will you bring? It's an accompaniment. Boiled or, fish. Yes, or any, or fried fish. Ketchup. Yeah. Ketchup. Ketchup. Yes. What about tartar sauce? Ketchup is for uh, for uh, what we call grills. But, but you yeah, said the boiled fish. And fish. And fish. And tartar sauce is used on fried fish. Yes. What about uh, any other? Spaghetti. Parmesan cheese. Now, are you still there? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we'll continue. Now we're going to look into these foods one into these categories one by one. The first one is going to be host de veau and other appetizers. Host de veau is uh, an appetizer. Now, traditionally, they were a selection of salads, fish, and meats. Look at figure 4.5 and look at that. It's a salad, something that is supposed to give you an appetite to stimulate your appetite before you start uh, going into the main meal. Now, examples of common host de voices items include canops, which are slices of bread with crusts removed. Uh, garnishes can include, when you've made these canopies, you, you can include, uh, garnish them with uh, smoked salmon, foie grass. Prawns, cheese, asparagus tips, tomato, egg, capas, yakins, salami, and other meats. Eggs can also be used as an appetizer or a host de veau. You can poach them and uh, present them in aspic or mayonnaise or hard boiled. Cut it into herbs and garnish or stuff them with various fillings which include the yolk. Fish can be used as an appetizer. Meats and other salads. Salads can be plain or compound. Examples of plain 
like salads include fish and meat salads cucumber tomato tomato salad potato salad beetroot salad red cabbage and cauliflower those are plain and not mixed compound salads include russian which is made by mixed vegetables in in mayonnaise we have andalou andalous which is uh, made of celery onions peppers tomatoes rice and vinaigrette italian which is a vegetable salad with the cubes of salami angobi filex and mayonnaise and parisian parisian is a uh, it contains slices of crayfish truffles russian salad and pound with mayonnaise and aspic so those are just some of the examples of host of all items others are asparagus we have avocado we have caesar salad caesar salad is a salad of course or romaine lettuce dressed with vinaigrette and other dressings caviar the thing you've heard about this caviar is a cover laid for caviar knife broad bay broad is, which is a broad blade knife or side knife on the right side of the cover served onto a cold fish plate and accompanied with uh, uh, i mean include blinis or hot breakfast toast butter segments or lemon chopped shallots and uh, chopped egg yolk and egg white we have charcuteries we have corn on the cob this is a salad so your usual corn on uh, th that maize on the cob we call it we call it maize natural so this one can also be served but when you do this when a guest asks for corn on the cob you have to provide a finger bowl which has a uh, which has a bowl i mean which has a lukewarm water and don't forget a slice of lemon a uh, lemon is used as a disinfectant so you are look you have a finger bowl which has a local water and a slice of lemon and a spare napkin for dry drying your hand or the guest's hand now this corn on the cob they usually served with special holders so but if you don't have those special holders then you'll have to go to the option d which is a finger bowl containing lukewarm water, a slice of lemon, and a spare napkin. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruits are served in a plate or in a bowl. Remember, like I was saying, the most important thing about this unit, or about this topic, is that by the end, when you you want to serve an item you want to present an item you you must know how to present it like we've said the corn on the cob the way to present it now fresh fruit you can either present it in a plate or in a bowl not in a cooking souffle or any other thing or in a cup it has to be a plate or in a bowl now a cover for fresh fruit include a side knife and a sweet fork. If served on a plate and a sweet spoon and fork, if served in a bowl, as usually no accompaniment is offered. Although some people may like caster sugar, both caster sugar and ground ginger are offered if melon is served alone. We also have fruit cocktails. Now these are served in a glass or some form of bowl. These are eaten with a teaspoon and caster. So the accompaniment here is the, the, the glass or bowl, and then the teaspoon and caster sugar. Now, uh, the, the, that was the cover. The, the accompaniment is caster sugar. We, so we have others, moods and pets, and uh, when you have mousses and pets, you have to provide a side knife and a sweet fork. And then you have hot and buttered breakfast toast or bread, which is offered. 
we have other salads in Ikoi salad and others but the general rule is this salads can be made up and served plated and sometimes constituted at the gridon dressings will vary but this is what you must present a fish knife and fork or fish based salad so we have so many appetizers so many host of wars items that make it to the host of war we must know the accompaniment and what we call the cover now i need to know if we are on the same page hello hello i need to know if you're on the same page so now graphing yeah this is what i want you to do tell us you yes. have uh, you have uh, caesar salad tell us the accompaniment and possible how do you serve it what is the cover for it See? alex the cover for uh, caesar salad do you do you have your book there did you open it yes yes okay L look at caesar salad and tell us the accompaniment and the cover can you understand what a cover is and what understand and uh, what uh, a cover is? I mean, a cover and a compartment. A compartment, I know, but now cover. Yeah. If it is a plate, that's the cover. A knife that you need, that's a cover. A spoon, that's a cover. On the same page now. Yes. Well, let me give you an example so that you'll be able to tell. Now, huh? I need some hot, I mean, I need a uh, uh, fried fish. Now, you will give me that fish on a plate, which is a fish plate. Are we together? Yeah? Yes. Yes, on a fish plate. Now the fish plate is the cover. And it's all complete if it doesn't have a fish knife. Those are the covers. But besides that, you'll have to bring the accompaniment, which is the tartar sauce already on that. So accompaniment is the, the sauce, or even if it is the lemon, sometimes fishes are served with lemons. That is the accompaniment. And the cover is, is what? That fish plate and the fish knife that you are going to bring it with. So, any question about that? Hello? Hello? Any question about that? If there's none, no. graphing continue to your, to your, very small task now caesar salad caesar salad yes so, yeah. alex salad oh. uh, just a minute uh, graphings alex yes cover for uh mooses and pets and pets asha huh? you will give us uh, a cover for mm. you will give us for a cover for uh, fresh fruit Rafin, you wanted to start.
was finished. Yeah, we Yes, cover under compartment. Okay. Graphin, finished. Yes. We need yeah. to move on. Yes, yeah, finished. Now present your work. You said you finished. Yes. I am waiting for you. Tell us. What? And I'm through. Hmm? I have finished. Then tell it us is... what you have. What I have? Yes. Caesar salad is 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 served with the garlic. The dressing or it's dressed with the vinaigrette. Vinaigrette, I mean. Vin yes. Or other similar dressing. Like garlic, croutons, and grated parmesan. Cheese. And what is the cover? The cover. Yes. A bowl. Only a bowl? Yes. Are you sure? The book says only a bowl. The cover includes a side knife and a sweet fork. And it is served in a bowl. So the cover is not just the ball, it must continue to the, the knife and the fork. Graphene, are we together? Yes. Alex. Alex. Yes. Tell us what you have quickly. I haven't finished. Kitabu yangu mekata kufunguka di PDF. Hizo ni yogani hizo. Umeturudisha nyuma tena. Asha. Yes. Yes. Have you finished? Yes. Tell us. Fresh fruit is served on a plate or a boil, and the yep. cover is side knife yeah. and sweet fork, served on a sweet spoon and fork, yeah. No accompaniment, although some people may like caster sugar. Yes. Good. Now, from those two answers and and two presentations now we understand a cover and an accompaniment for each and every dish we just need to know so that is what i wanted to to find out if you do understand those two terms so from those answers we understand perfectly well who they are now so the what the cover the cover is what is served on uh, yes. What and you use to consume that? Is the, is like, what is served with? Like, oh, it's like what? You wanted to use your own words. Use your words. It's like fork, knife, like those. No, 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 no. Now, now you're making it worse. Accompaniment is what helps you eat whatever you're eating. Accompaniment is, uh, it is the, the accessory 
to the item. You know, the, the, the fork, the knife, and the plate, yeah? Yeah. They all make the cover. Yeah? Yeah. And the accessory, the complementary, what complements the food item is, is what? Is the accompaniment. I don't know if you are together. Yeah, we are together. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. Now we continue. The next food item or the next category, the next cause is uh, the soups. We're done with those two. Now soups can also be used as, as an appetizer. They form, uh, you can either use uh, host of war, or you can strike it out from your menu and put the first cause as soups. Soups are divided into a number of categories, including consommes, velu, creams, puris, potage, bisques, and broths. We have examples of the following. Consomme. Consomme is a clear uh, soup. Clarified made, soup made with poultry, beef, game, and vegetable bouillon. This consomme is a special kind of soup because where, where the, the manner in which it is served is totally different from other soups. It has its own customized cup. We call it the consomme, the consomme cup. And you have to provide a sweet spoon. This is the cover, consomme cup and a sweet spoon. Now, these soups were once drunk using uh, from the cup, but today, uh, what we do, uh, uh, what I'm going to say is these soups were once drunk from the cup using the handles, and the spoon was provided to help in eating the canish. The tradition continues in the use of cup, but is now presented on the table on a consomme, saucer or under plate. It's not complete. The cup, the, the, the soup in it has to be put on a saucer and sometimes a, an under plate. Velu, creams and purees, all these soups are served in a soup plate, which must be put on an under plate and provide a soup spoon. Now, an accompaniment to velu and cream is a croutons, which is offered for this, uh, specifically cream and tomato sauce. Now, croutons these days are also served with a, a other, very many other types of soups. So, remember, to serve velu, creams, and purees, which are soups in this soup plate. Don't forget another plate and a soup spoon because you need it. Potage broths and bisques, also served in soup plates, which are put on under plates and are eaten with a soup spoon. But again, you can also use bowls of varying designs. Bisques are soups with a, a shellfish base. Now, we, we also have other examples of national soups. Batwinia, which is Russian, Brosh from Poland, Bola Bay is French. Uh, we have uh, Sherry, German, Choda, USA, uh, Kok Al Liki. Scottish, Gaspacho, Spanish, Krupnich, which is Russian, Neil Fanti, which is Italian. This can be served with, in a, a, with consomme, with a covering of breadcrumbs, parmesan cheese, and beaten eggs. Now, we usually have make this, it is quite common. Minstron, which is Italian. They, uh, when you do this, Provide, uh, provide what? Grated parmesan cheese and grilled fruits to your minstone. Don't forget the golden rule. 
su plate and soup spoon. Miso is Japanese. Petit mamit is French. Potage Gemini, French. She, Russian. Soup a la Ognon, which is French. So, besides consomme, remember to serve all other types of, of soups in soup in soup uh, soup plate and provide uh, soup spoons and provide what croutons as accompaniments. Service of soup generally. Is what we stated. Consomme in a consomme cup. On a consomme sosa and set it on a fish plate, which will act as. Traditionally, bring your sweet spoon. But these days, you can use soups for your. All other soups, just bring us and bring. Hello. 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 Oh, it's not.
Hello. 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 Uh, there was some problem, some connection problems here. So we we'll continue. Do you see my screen? Are you with me? Are you seeing my screen? We are not seeing it. Yes. What about now? We are seeing. Okay. So done with with the uh, soups. Let's continue into uh, the egg dishes. Now, we have so many egg dishes. Apart from our usual omelets, we have so many others. Eggs can be made in uh, tens of, of, of other ways. Now, for examples of uh, egg dishes and the service requirements, we have this of Sualapla. Uh, this one, uh, the egg is cooked in the oven in the Osuala plat dish and then served to the customer in in this dish on an under plate. A sweet spoon and fork are used, but a side knife may be given. Depending on the garnishes, a Suala plat is a, a small round white earthenware or metal dish with two ears. So that's an example of an egg dish, of swell of blood. Then we have oof and cocot. And then our omelets. This is an egg goes made with a made from omelet uh, with various savory fillings. It is eaten with a joint fork and is served onto a hot fish plate. So remember, joint fork. And remember a hot fish plate for those omelets. The joint fork is placed on the right hand side of the cover. Now, usually forks are placed on the left, but this is uh, an exception. You place it on the right side of the cover. Should you decide to eat uh, the omelet as a main course? It is. It can be served onto a hot joint plate, but once again, it is a hot fish plate. That's unless you want to eat it as a as a as a, as a main course. Now, omelets are often plated, but may also be served from a flat using two forks, two fish knives, or a slice. The ends can be trimmed as part of the service. So, those were the egg dishes worth mentioning. On to another, another category, pasta and rice dishes. Now, pasta and rice dishes are referred to as farinaceous dishes, and they include all those pastas like spaghetti, macaroni, noodles, ravioli, and rice dishes such as pilaf or risotto. Also included in this category include nochi, with montes, which is a potato, a potato. Then we have Parisian, chupest, and rom romaine from semolina. What is the accompaniment for uh, pasta and rice dishes? Don't forget 
grated parmesan cheese. And that's an accompaniment. Service includes the following. Most pasta and rice dishes are served plated, but sometimes you can also silver plate. This is the rule. For spaghetti, a joint fork should be laid on the right hand side of the cover and a sweet spoon on the left. And now, all other farinaceous dishes, remember the sweet spoon and fork are used with the sweet spoon on the right and fork on the left. So, rust pasta. It is what? Sweet spoon and joint fork. The position changes for spaghetti, which is different from other farinaceous dishes. Fish dishes. We have a, a wide variety of fish and shellfish available today. They provide a good source of protein and may be cooked and presented in many ways. The general accompaniment for fish dishes are shown in the following table. We have hot fish dishes with with, with the oh, now you pro, you have a hot fish dish with a sauce. Do you need any accompaniment? You have a sauce already, which you, you made. There's no accompaniment that you need there. Now, a hot fish dish without a sauce. Are we on the same page? I might have lost you. Okay, I haven't lost you yet. So, if you have a hot fish dish without a sauce, now give us a hollandaise or other hot butter based sauce. Don't remember, don't forget lemon segments. Now, you have a, a fried fish which has been bread crumbed. We call it a la anglais. If you have that fr fried fish which has been bread crumbed, give us tartar sauce or another mayonnaise based sauce together with segments of lemon. Fried or grilled fish dishes which has not been bread crumbed, then we need hollandaise or tartar sauce. Deep fried fish which has been dipped in butter, we call it a la poly. Then give us a tomato based, which is made in the kitchen, and offer it with, with segments of lemon. Then sometimes proprietary sauces can also be offered as, a, as can vinegar if chips are being served. Cold poached fish dishes, usually mayonnaise or other uh, mayonnaise based sauces, such as sauce, that is offered together with segments of lemon. So these are just examples of fish dishes with special service accompaniments requirements. Generally, when you're serving fish, uh, this is what you need to do. Provide a fish knife and a fish fork. But sometimes we have a small knife and sweet fork can be used instead, but the, the rule is fish knife and fish fork. Traditionally, uh, we must provide also, uh, it is logical that we provide a fish plate for this. Now, are you there? Hello? 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 Now, Hello? We, are going to have, we are going to have a small, uh, a small uh, task again. And this is what I want you to do. Now, we start alphabetically. Mm -hmm. 
we start alphabetically. So, Asha, mm. this is what you're going to do. Mm. You're going to tell us the cover for meat, meat dishes, meat, poultry, and game dishes. Give us two, just two examples of those items. Am I clear? Yeah. Are we clear? Yes. Alex? Yes. You will do... Uh, you will do potatoes, vegetables, and salads. Hello? Hello? Potatoes, vegetables, and salads. Yeah. Graphins. Yes. You will do uh, what we call You will do dessert. Those are fresh fruits and nuts. Are we together? Yeah. So, can we go on a break? We're going on a break, 20 minutes break, which includes a break plus, and it's a 10 minutes break plus the 10 minutes for doing this work. We meet here at at 10 are we together yes yes we meet here at 10 then you tell us what you found out Graphin. Yes. Your turn. We are in the start. Yes. Okay. In the start, we have cover and accompaniment. Mm. In cover, we have fruit plates, mm -hmm. fruit knife and fork. Fruit plate, fruit knife and fork. Yes. One finger bowl. On a side plate at the top right hand corner of the cover, containing the lukewarm water and a slice of lemon, which may be used for rinsing figures. One finger bowl on a side of plate and containing cold water for rinsing the grapes. Nut crackers and grape scissors to be placed on the fruit basket.
Hello. Yes, hello. I'm through. You're through. Yes. My network just defiled me. So you said how many uh, finger balls? Two. Is it your network? I think it's my network. Two finger balls, one containing lukewarm water. Yes. And you can also provide a slice of lemon inside that finger bowl for washing the hands. Yes. You need a spare plate. Another finger bowl is for rinsing the, the fruits. So it doesn't need to be warm, just cold water. You need a spare plate for the peels or any other thing. Then what yes. do you provide? A, a, yeah. Did you say a fruit knife? Yes, I said a fruit knife and a fork. What if you are you are bringing a guest once uh, what we call uh, <coughs> uh, nuts? What do you do in this case? Nuts. Yes. Nuts, I think, is only a fork. A fork. You need a nut cracker. Huh? You need a nut cracker, but the fork is also laid, but you need a nut cracker in this case. Yeah? Yeah. What about grapes? Hello. Yeah? What about grapes? Grapes one is one is a you need a fork. Are you reading or you are guessing? I'm not reading. Why will you need a fork to eat a grapes? Fork. Yes. Eh. Oh. <laughs> you need a scissor. <laughs> <laughs> You are absent minded. <laughs> what are you thinking about? Nothing. You need a scissor to cut those bunches. So those grapes, yeah. they come in bunches. Or you don't know what a grape is. Do you know a grape? I know that those, I think they are black in color. And tiny, sometimes black yeah. in color. And tiny, tiny fruits. Yes, I know them. Um, so I'm not sure if you need a gray a, a pork there. Just yes, it is on the table, that, but you won't need it that much. Yes. So the special item there is the scissors. The scissors. And remember, all these fruits come come in fruit basket. Yeah. 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 Don't forget that. Yes. So. So I think that is going to be all for today. I'm just going to mark the register. And then we call it a, a day. So stay there till we finish. Okay. What is the date today? Today is Thursday. Today is 25th. 25th June. Yes. So I like to be here. Are you seeing my screen? Yes. yes. Alex is there. Graphin. Do you know June Gode? Yes. And where did Ale Kriyuki disappear? To? Does he attend other classes? No. Then we have Asha. Never seen Bula. 
Never seen Maxwell. Never seen Tisha. Never seen Wambua. So that's for today. <laughs> now, before we go, yeah, you remember the the task I gave you? Yes, to to me. To write a menu, menu. Menu. Yes, two sets of menus, and send to the quiz. You will upload a file and send it to the quiz that I have attached at the end of this topic. Mm. Do you have any question again? No. Any concern? Any proposal? Recommendation? Anything you would like to say? If there's none, we meet again uh, next week. But don't forget to send this before the end of the week. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. So. There's nothing else.